<laughs> well, hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips where I'm going to be exploring really a little bit about celebrating Black History Month which it is over here in the UK and I do feel that as piano teachers it, it is important that we actually have a diverse and representative repertoire of both teaching and playing pieces um, and I was reminded of this actually this time last week when um, I was teaching one of the 16 17 year olds that I teach um, it, and and we were looking at new repertoire for her and I played her a piece by a female composer actually and she said oh yeah I really like that and I like the idea that it's by a female composer and this was really very important to her and it just brought home to me the importance of looking for a wide variety of repertoire because styles, compositions, genres are so widespread these days. And if we just continue to do the classics, then we are not representing our current time. And our current time is, as we know, we're living in a, in, in a global world more than ever where we're all connected. And so I think we have a duty actually to spread our wings in terms of repertoire. So my plan for October is to introduce you to some of the pieces that I've got to know um, that you might listen to and think, oh yeah, I really like that piece. I'm going to use that in my teaching as well. So the first piece I want to introduce you to is called Aquella. Um, and that's spelt K-W-E-L-A. And this is from a fantastic series, actually. As far as I know, it's the only series that's around that's like it. And it was published uh, at least 10, 13 years ago, I think. And this is uh, piano music of Africa and the African diaspora. I have big problems with this word diaspora. I have to really think about how to pronounce that. And it is full of uh, some really, really very fine music and I will be sharing a bit more with you. But I, when I first got this book back in 2007, I really was drawn to the Queller. I'll just give you a little blast of it. Published by OUP, by the way. <laughs> back a lot of memories because I was really fortunate that back in 2005 I traveled to South Africa as part of my Churchill traveling fellowship and um, on one of the nights I was invited by a South African string band as they're known as there um, to go with them to the presidential guest house wow and it was President Mbeki who was um, the president at the time and we went to a dinner uh, my husband and I did along with this string band who were playing the music and we were just kind of there as guests and it was fantastic because at, um, at the, the, the the group played for a while and this was a string group they played for a while and then everybody stopped and had something to eat and once the group had finished playing they just improvised they got up again got their string instruments and they improvised a quella and at that point Mrs Mbeki got up and everybody started to dance and they started to move just to this wonderful wonderful music so for me, the Quella, um, it, it's, it's a very African type piece, you know, it is something that is very improvisatory and it has many of the features that is a common in, in African music. Um, some features that we might find in it, um, it's got some simple in this one, but some polyrhythms, it certainly goes across the beat in, to, in, in some ways in syncopation. Very traditional harmonies actually, you know, it, harmonies very short thematic material you know most of it is built on that lots of parallels um, thirds and fourths and fifths lots of thirds in this actually to be honest yeah. um, which makes it lovely and easy and lilting to listen to um, and it's quite improvisatory or even though it's written down it's quite improvisatory it also has blue notes in it later on Yeah, and there 
how it's going across the beat with that um, with those those rhythms going on there um, syncopation so this is the very first piece um, from the uh, piano music of Africa and the African diaspora diaspora <laughs> there we go and as I say it's published by OUP and it's been compiled and edited by William H Chapman Lampen not sure I pronounce this right, but Nhayo, yeah, and um, who is quite a, a, a very well-known composer, and I will be featuring one of his pieces in one of the subsequent weeks I do that, do this. So I would really encourage you to have a look at different repertoire. This month in particular, if you're based in the UK, go and search out some, some African music, some music by black composers, there's been lots of programs on the television recently. There's a great one with Lenny Henry and Susie Klein recently about all the African music, all about the black African um, composers that are around who have been relegated to the sidelines in our musical history and who really, really don't deserve it at all. So let's bring them out. Let's celebrate the wonderful, diverse music that they have shared with us and that actually we have absorbed into many of our Western art forms. So I can't see any comments I'm afraid today so thank you to everybody who's been joining me today. I'll see you again next Tuesday for more music from black um, composers. Take care, bye for now.